Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. Ayato si manaka elamama silu. Rababa kasolama. An army is rising. A people, a people. Rejoice, brethren, because where what God promised us many years ago, even as we prayed and told us about the army that will rise to restore holiness to the prophetic house, God is raising them. God is raising them. You know, according to my Father and the Lord, in one of his teachings, he said, God is raising the people to recover the church again. Hallelujah. So we give God praise for um, what God is doing. And we pray that his will for his nation, which is the church, his will will come to pass by the power of the Spirit. So before we touch on this, let me just bring a, a little commentary. Something was brought to our attention today. Um, a media outlet. You know, you know, there's so many media outlets out there that you know, make videos of the the things that we say this hallowed assembly, even as we defend the faith, even as we speak the word of God teach the nations the righteousness of God as it is established in the scriptures. So you have a lot of people, you know, selecting the part that they're interested in to, to make videos and throw commentaries. You know, we got, we've been getting that for years now. And you know, these things doesn't bother us as a people. It doesn't bother us. It doesn't bother us. Um, you can teach people, but we must tolerate the ignorance of certain persons and we must learn from the wisdom of others. Yeah, so the fact that we are bringing certain things from here doesn't mean we expect everyone to understand it. You know, but however, as so as we are saddled with the responsibility of what? Of sowing. Um, the heart it falls into that depends on what God wants to do. But we are saddled with the responsibility of sowing even as God begins to crush the idolatry that has been exalted. The images that have been exalted in the churches and only the Lord would be magnified as king. So, Something was brought to my attention where a media outlet put up something and, you know, someone came and said he knows us and we are paying people. We pay people to bring down a man of God. <laughs> a tree is known by its fruit. A tree. The fact that you have capacity to do something doesn't mean some of us will even think of it. A tree is what? A tree is known by its fruit. Where we come from, by the grace of God, they taught us Jesus. It's not gift they taught us. They didn't teach us to be flying prophets, major bishops and prophets. No, they taught us to be Christians, to fear the Lord and to follow his word. So, you know, we are not against you, you know, saying anything against us. You put out whatever you want to put out there. The designing, we know. The gullible for so... <laughs> Bible said, those that fall on this stone will be broken into pieces. Those that the stone falls on, they'll be grinded. So, but if you are bringing an allegation, because you see, in religious cycle, divergent understandings and standpoints are welcomed. Yeshua had his own opinions on certain things that the Pharisees would do in those days. And that was his own opinion. And those opinions were good for him and his disciples, and he was not shy of speaking them out publicly. So, as long as I'm within the religious family, in quote, as it is perceived on it, as long as I'm within this fair called Christianity, all I teach, all I say is subject, is subject to scrutiny 
people can come out and bring their own divergent opinion. In fact, the Bible said Apostle Paul sat down and they deliberated in the school of Tyrannus. They deliberated. They argued about scriptures in the temple. He was there arguing with them, debating. That's what the Bible says. Have you seen a debate before? One is pushing his motion. The other one is pushing his motion. And then at the end of the day, the superior doctrinal standpoint wins. So, within the religious context, they are allowed to call you Satan. <laughs> Whatever. They can call you a false prophet. And if the person has scriptures, scriptural backings, like you can come now and say, Prophet Joe, why are you wearing suit? According to these scriptures, if you are wearing suit, it means you are not authentic. You are not representing what a priest, according to biblical operation, should represent. So you are fake, Prophet Joe. But you see, if you have an operation, I don't care how big you are, if you have an operation that is anti the spirit of the Bible, that is anti the testimony of Jesus, no matter how many people you deceive, a generation will rise that will know the Lord. Because the Bible says, we've received an unction from the Holy One. Who has received an unction? Is it a prophet only? Is it the apostle only? Is it the bishop that was ordained? We have received an unction for the Holy, from the Holy One. And we need that no one teaches us because that unction within us can reveal Christ to us. Are we together? So he said, I'm writing to you not because you are ignorant. I'm writing to you because you know. So when the people who have received an unction from the Holy One check scriptures and, and they say, oh God, this thing you are bringing and you've been pioneering and people have been celebrating for many years <laughs> is falsehood. You don't come and say, I have cars. You don't have cars. I have a fan base. You don't. In fact, if maybe what I'm doing, I'm not doing it from understanding. You will not bring scriptures and tell me why you should call yourself major electrician and why calling yourself major electrician somehow, somehow impacts positively the ministration of Jesus. You know, why call yourself major electrician and exalt yourself as an idol before the people somehow contributes to the general understanding the people will get to have about the Lord. And if you bring sufficient scriptures, who doesn't like a good nickname here? I, I will call myself the galactic prophet. Falsehood is very profitable. And even a genuine anointing at some point can push falsehood. And guess what happens? Jesus will give you time to repent. You see, it's so easy to spot the fountain of falsehood. Just look at the people it produces. You will see a gift-driven people that has little or no knowledge of the Lord. Man worshippers that cannot defend or anything from scriptures. People are willing to play dirty just to favor their, their idols. And so you have one now coming out to put up a video somewhere and someone who claims to know me and my spiritual father and he knows that we pay people. He, he doesn't even know how to pronounce my name. <laughs> you hear the person that you know this is a fanboy of a pastor. <laughs> and then... You know, when our team made an official statement, and that statement was made, you know, you've never seen us make such statement on, meanwhile, they have been posting a lot. It was made because you cannot claim that we are committing a criminal offense, because that's a criminal offense. That has gone beyond the realms of religion. If it's still in the realms of religion, call me Satan. I won't answer you. It doesn't diminish my truth. But when you now go as far as saying people are paying others to do harm to the person of another pastor and you publish this on a media space and you don't produce event someone a coward hides somewhere maybe probably a friend you know just okay let's let's do it like this <laughs> and then he just talks 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 maybe your brother in the house you say okay these are the three point agenda <laughs> put a do a video and say okay look at the text message i sent to you you know since you know me, look at the text message I sent. Look at the transactions we did and you were there when we were discussing. Hey, begin to post. Meanwhile, one of the accused media outlets commented on our post and said, ah, this particular person, I even helped him. It is, you see, all I see is desperation. Desperation to, de to destroy you. I know in this generation, when someone comes and talks with a low voice, well, people, see, Pastor Dominion, I've told you people, save yourself and your family members. And then anyone who is willing to enter the ark. The generation is corrupt. Their discernment is destroyed. Is it not in the mouth of two or what? Three witnesses that what? A matter is established. So someone comes, 
and give the witness of his voice. And then there's no other concrete evidence to back up a thing. Anyone can come, I can, anybody here can come now and cry against a, a pastor. Even BBC do better jobs. At least they go and do research for many years and get to prove. And yet, even their research can still be faulted. It's something to laugh about. If you can look at someone like Apostle Arubel Sai and believe he's, you know, they say, my father Lord is pursuing cloud. So when he was in Makodi laboring for Jesus, he wasn't pursuing cloud. He didn't know that there's cloud. When he turned down opportunities to minister because the Lord would not allow him. The same person pursuing cloud now. You can't talk about the apostolic without tracing pioneers of the apostolic ministry now to him. That's the man you say is pursuing cloud. The ministry of utterance, when it comes to the counsel of God, is with a man in Makodi. And because he doesn't dance to the tune of everyone, he, he dances to the tune of a different flag. He has been telling us this for more than 12 to 13 years. At least when I joined. Dances to a tune of a different flag. And you can look at that kind of man and say, this man is pursuing cloud. He's, he's a bitter man. He's, if the kind of people... I, I, I would never tolerate any of my brethren here. I know, let's say, I know you have a media channel and then you now go out to publicize contents on your platforms because someone is attacking me. You now begin to push lies in order to also... <laughs> a tree is known by what? It's fruit. Now let's take time to look at the quality of what we are producing. Who are the people, you know, you call... You know, a lot of people call themselves fathers, fathers, fathers. The question is, who are the people that call you son? Let's put their life on an X-ray. Is it not a particular wine skin we see being piped from that prison? So please, you have, you can talk about us as long as within the religious fair, they insult us. Bring Bible and show me the, the false teachings I'm do, I'm putting out into the body of Christ. You are you are condemning people. What is the condemnation? Your wicked heart is what is, is reacting to truth. If I, I can come here and say, someone, you know, oh, we've grown by the grace of God. I find the Lord has spoken to me and say, preach truth. Don't, no need to call anybody's name. As, you know, you know, two years ago, my head was not stable. The, the zeal of the Lord. But if I say a person is false, and I'm speaking from the prospect, prophetic perspective, and, we, and how do we judge a person? We judge a person by the fruit of their priesthood. Because that's how Yeshua said we know a tree. You can't expect one of truth to produce falsehood. And you can't expect one of falsehood to produce truth. Yeshua says it's not possible. So you go out there as a prophet and you are clubbing. Hi! You are in the club. You are with women. What you are showing is car and your shoe and... Aila Mosani. And then you are selling miracle apple, miracle water, things that, things that are not found in scriptures. Things, the rich, the, the thousands of years of history we have in scriptures, we cannot find that operation. And just because you can call name and phone number, you want us to believe that you are a servant of Christ. What are you doing that is different from what the girl with the familiar spirit is doing? Jesus, Pastor Joseph. And people are saying, hey, judge not. Avenging all disobedience. When what? Your own is complete. You see, Jesus Christ is not against you removing what is in your brother's eyes. He said, but just wait and remove your own first so that you can see clearly. If the problem is the eye, deal with your eye. Then you can see clearly to deal with the eye. I can tell you boldly here that since Salem as a ministry started, if there's a damn I'm texting and I'm saying, uh, after church, I text the person, I say, come and strengthen me. Come and massage my back. We can say this boldly as a testament to not just our public stand for righteousness, but also our secret stand for righteousness. Since when has righteousness become a thing of anger? to people who claim to have a spirit of holiness. Yeshua said, if you stand with me, if you have my word, you are going to be persecuted on my account. God needs to help East Africa. God needs to help 
West Africa. God needs to help South Africa. For many years, you see, the, the church has been drunk with a prophetic style that hypes manifestations but doesn't care about character of Christ. So sorcerers gained access into the church of Christ and seduced the people with giftings and promises of miracles and breakthrough and then got the people to get used to iniquity. So guess what? They now heaped for themselves such teachers and they gave heed to seductive spirits. A seductive spirit will not tell you truth to your face. The Bible says he that speaketh truth from his heart. A seductive spirit will tell you what you want to hear so that you can be hypnotized into idolatry. So when they say, this error is not of God, the idolatrous spirit in you will rise. Kill him! He has casted out the demon from the girl having familiar spirit that brought us much what? Gain. That brought us much gain. Touch gain, you will see familiar spirit manifest. <laughs> so please, we are not having issues with you coming and saying, prophet, you not selling miracle water is an error because so so scriptures tells us to sell miracle water. If you bring sufficient scriptures, I would redress my standpoint immediately. You people know me. But you know, to go as far as saying, bringing someone, <laughs> even if you bring something to me and I say, this person did this, I will say, what are the proofs you have? Anybody can come and tell a, a story. And then you put out such an entire, we're going to take this one seriously. You know, I noticed that from what I've been told, that channel is notorious for, you know, how will you call say truth and love? And what we find there is lie and deceit. <laughs> you are further even giving the person you claim to be defending. You are giving him a bad name. Because he begs to make one begin to wonder the quality of life in that priesthood. If these are the kind of people that can be produced from there. May God give us understanding. And then, Jerusalem, Salem, Salem. So that's just a brief commentary on that. And um, please, let's not reply anyone. <laughs>